Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's the Jay Shray Way, and I got a trailer reaction, as you would guess. This is going to be a short trailer, but this is one to keep your eyes peeled for. This is the new David Fincher film. That's all you got to say, but it's going straight to Netflix. What the hell? David Fincher, I mean, he's one of the greatest living directors, and that's why I'm very intrigued by this movie. This is going to be straight to Netflix, though, just like some of his past work. He did that movie Mank with Gary Oldman, straight to Netflix. I, I never checked it out, but I heard it was good. But to see some of those Netflix releases, I just skip out on because Netflix has a... They're not quality quantity over quality, but they they just put out a lot, you know, from all these different creators, and it's hard to keep up with. But, I mean... Fight Club from David Fincher, uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, Seven. The dude's done some great stuff, but he really started with Netflix with Mindhunter, which is kind of crazy. Never never watched that show, I'll just be honest. I don't get on here and fabricate things. I like David Fincher's style. I love his cinematography, his muted color palette. It's always very engrossing. And it's usually about like some sadistic characters, some sick, twisted take on a character, uh, kind of like a study, character study, you know, into their psyche. And that's why I'm excited for this one. I love a movie like that where we're just following uh, a great actor uh, all alone, doing some weird shit. One of the greats that did that was Taxi Driver. I am very excited to see what this is about. Michael Fassbender is leading this cast, and it's not much of a stacked cast. I saw Tilda Swinton. Uh, is in there too. But this reaction is for The Killer. I've been very intrigued by this movie ever since they announced it. Some of the shots we've seen and the little glimpses look amazing. This seems like an Oscar contender. I'm ready to dive into this and see what it's all about. Here we go. The Killer. Coming to Netflix. Oh wow. I already love the callers, dude. It's got some style. I've waited to see Fastbender in a role like this. Wow! These shots are sick. <laughs> this is hypnotizing. See, these are a lot of actors. There's Tilda Swinton. There's a lot of actors I've never seen. All those names. This guy's deranged. The sound design is awesome. Man! That... That's one to watch out for, guys. Seriously, I'm glad I got on here to talk about this. Sign me up. I mean, damn, guys, that's exactly what I was hoping for. The, Like I said, the sound design in the headphones is wild. The, uh, inner, the inner dialogue, I love when movies do that, when they have that interplay. Not like a... Not quite a narration, you know, because the narration can come off cheesy, but whenever it's the character talking to themselves. But like I said, there's so many great dark tales uh, commanded by great actors of just a guy, like, <laughs> isolated. And it's all usually due to themselves. They're pushing people away. And especially when they're like, an, like I mean, it sounds rude, but Michael Fassbender is an older man. So, like, there's just, like, more life to him, you know, more experiences, more, like, more they pay attention to the world around them, so they are pr more prepared for these whatever fucking situations they're in, or plans they have. This seems sick, this seems sleek, though, that's the main thing. I remember, like, earlier last year when Netflix did a little reel showing what they all had coming up. Like, the first glimpse we got of this was, uh, I think it was Fastbender on a motorcycle, and it was, like, some sleek shot. It looked like something out of Mission Impossible. And I'm like, man, this is, this like, that shot alone grabbed my attention. And the whole movie is shot in this nice, like, palette, dude. The color palettes are crisp. It's a lot of greens, you know? Like, David Fincher always plays with, like, green. Um, yeah, dude, I can't wait to see what they got coming for us and I think when you really put a great director 
and a great actor. Obviously, they had all those other cast lists named in there, and I didn't. It was hard to keep up with all of them, but most of them aren't like A listers. But you know what I mean? Like when you really focus, when the director focuses on their one actor, their central guy, it comes off as magic. And this is the first time I believe Fassbender's worked with Fincher. Fincher, they're some of the best directors we love out there. Nolan, as you guys know, is my favorite. He usually goes to a lot of the same actors. We'll come back to him every few projects. Uh, Fincher is kind of different. I mean, Brad Pitt with two of his big ones, but he usually gets a different guy to or a different lady to command the screen, you know, uh, in all his movies. And I, I just find that interesting about him. I mean, he directed a fucking Justin Timberlake music video, Suit and Tie. Crazy to think about. I love JT. And yeah, Fincher directed that music video. He's probably done more. But I think that's actually how he started, was music videos, if uh, memory leads me right. But yeah... I, it's a quick reaction, like I said, I'm on board. I just wanted to get out here and do a video to kind of spread awareness for this movie coming out because Netflix is really bad at marketing. I feel like a lot of people aren't going to hear about this or talk about it. This trailer dropped earlier today, and you'll probably hear about it come award season if it's as uh, good as it's promising to be. And when you got like legends like this in the driver's seat, you got to expect some awards, you know. And we don't have a lot of competition. We got The Killer and then Killers of the Flower Moon. And those are my two most anticipated for the rest of the year. Also, Maestro with Bradley Cooper. That's going to be another award contender. And I can't wait to see Bradley Cooper's next directorial effort. But yeah, this is uh, this is sick. If you guys have enjoyed listening to me talk about it, thank you for coming by. Uh, I hope you're as excited as I am. It, like I said, I'm not able to unpack a lot. Don't want to know much about it. I don't know the runtime. It's probably three hours. Every movie now is three hours. Either way, I'll be there. I'm hoping they play this in cinemas. This is also a cry out to uh, Netflix. Put this in theaters. Don't make this a limited release. When they did Glass Onion, they didn't play it around me. So they do that a lot with some of their bigger movies. Put this, make this wide. You know, do it. Like, it's not going to hurt. David Fincher should have been begging them, not beg, they should be begging David Fincher to play a movie wide for him, it's silly, so yeah, the the killer coming to Netflix, what was the date on that, hang on guys, I'm sorry, a little uh, unofficial over here, October, there's probably a date somewhere out there, but yeah, October, Netflix, keep an eye out for it, if you can't get to the theaters, check this out, I'm I have high hopes for it. Thank you for checking me out. It's the Jay Shray Way. If you want to see more, I got some shorts. I got some other trailer reactions from the past. You can dive into my channel and give me a little sub on the way out. That's it for this one. I'll see you all next time.